everybody, it's Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Uh, today is Sunday the 12th. I just put on Twitter a question to see if uh, anyone would be interested in hearing some short ideas. Now, we're clearly in a bull market, so keep that in mind. Whenever you're shorting in a bull market, it's very stock specific and you've got to be quick to cover. The S&P 500 and the rest of the markets dropped a little bit this past week. I'm not bearish, uh, but I, when I look through my charts each week, what I do is I look through a long list of charts and I look for opportunity. I look for you know potential setups on the long side and I recognize when there's potential opportunities on the short side as well. And lately I've been seeing more of those short ones. Just uh, on Friday, I got involved in CHPT. This one uh, was a, uh, is, is still an open short from $21.50 per share. I actually got involved on Thursday, sorry. Um, anyways, that's one that I got involved in recently. I was involved in VFC and caught this breakdown really nicely here. Shorted it there, narrowly got uh, stopped out with this move. My stop was above that level. It rallied in my face a little bit. What I did was I took a third off. I always take a third off very quickly uh, to reduce my risk. And that gave me the confidence to hold overnight uh, without getting that stop and then uh, I uh, covered some in here and then the balance was stopped out on that move um, maybe uh, oh on Friday I missed this one too Zen this one you know these are stocks in downtrends we're not looking to pick the top in any stock when we when I I'm not trying to when I go short so what instead I'm looking for are stocks in uh, downtrends so you look at uh, bed bath and beyond is this stock in a downtrend well it's below declining 20-day moving average that's that blue line there it's below declining declining 50-day moving average. The year-to-date volume weighted average price is that dark blue line. It's below that. It's below the 200-day moving average. The only thing about that 200-day moving average is it's still advancing. So I look at this and I say, okay, on the daily time frame here, what are the key volume weighted average price levels? Well, from that low in 2020, clearly it was an important level. And then we uh, layer another VWAP off of here. And you can see that's exactly where the stock is trying to find a little bit of support right now. What I would be looking for in this stock is to look for an opportunity for it to maybe make a lower high and then uh, so, you know, rally up maybe towards that declining five day moving average. And then as it short comes back down, look to short it. And then I would set my stop up above whatever, whatever that uh, lower high end up might be. Maybe it's 2530. Maybe the best stop would be above here. For now, I would say the best stop would be above this level. And again, I don't want to short it on a rally because it, these things can turn around very quickly. Maybe you saw about a month ago, I had gotten short ozone. ozone ZON right in here and that stock fell apart beautifully uh, and I had covered a third on here uh, in here here and then on this gap higher it took out my stop that day and good thing because it rallied very quickly so when these shorts go against you can they go against you very quickly just because they're in a downtrend doesn't mean they might not see some powerful advances anyways ozone is one I've got my eye on uh, again as a potential short I'm not sure it's quite ready yet if I look at the volume weighted average price off of this gap lower uh, last Thursday you can see we're above that volume weighted average price so I'd like to see that maybe kind of flatten out here in the next day or two as the stock does something like this and then gets trapped under that VWAP and then to short it with a stop above here we're not there yet so these are potential candidates in addition to uh, BBBY uh, BLNK now this is uh, blink charging for EVs uh, I did get short CHPT as mentioned which is a similar type of company uh, so BLNK is uh, is one that's clearly you know having some problems here here's our daily chart if I put a volume weighted average price all the way back to the beginning of the move here you can see that that level had been tested twice on recent sell-offs so that becomes a potential level where it might drop down to it's not my price target I don't do price targets I'd rather just listen to the message of the market and if the message of the market says you know over on a shorter term time frame that one it rallies up and then starts to decline I would be looking to short right in here I don't want to short on strength because it might continue to rally I'm going to repeat that theme and we're in a bull market so you've got to be very careful but if I can short right here as it rallies up maybe to the declining five-day moving average starts to fall apart perhaps it's below the volume weighted average price from this little low and that volume weighted average price would look something like this so as it breaks back down I want to short this the weakness but I don't want to short 
short a new low because suckers short the new lows after it's already had a big decline. We want to see it rally, start to roll over, and then cover some into that decline. Anyways, this is a potential level it could drop down to. It's not a price target. It's an area where there might be an opportunity. Uh, so blank, BE is another one, similar type, you know, same industry. It's down a little bit too much recently though. It, you know, I'd rather see this one maybe rebuild for a week or so and then fall apart. Uh, anyways, Beyond Meat, this one's been, you know, one that uh, I remember I caught this one on the on the long side here uh, as a short squeeze and got really lucky back there. But it's, you know, it's below declining 20 day moving average, 50 day moving average, 200 day moving average. They're all declining. If we go back to the very first day of trading, you can see we're below the volume weighted average price from the IPO. So basically everyone's a loser in this stock. If we take a look at the volume weighted average price from that low, the average participant has paid about 135 from that level. So it's not in an uptrend. It's a garbage stock. It's making a pattern here of lower highs and lower lows, uh, you know, below declining 20 and 50 day moving average. So again, we're not trying to pick this, the top in good stocks. I'm not, I'm never going to tell you, Hey, let's go short Nvidia because it's up too much. That's, you know, that's what uneducated short sellers do. Anyways, if beyond can rally up very similar, you know, and you've got to look at the range and the personality of this stock. It's had big ranges here. So you're going to need a bigger stop, perhaps just above here, let's say 116.40. But if it can rally up, up and maybe find uh, supply near the volume weighted average price from this drop off or you know from the most recent lows in here then we would look to short on weakness and you know maybe that's 114 and a quarter I don't know I'll know when I see it but right now I think that you've got to have your stop up here so about 116.50 so maybe you're risking two and a half dollars per share let's say you typically uh, risk five hundred dollars per trade well that tells you if you're risking two dollars and fifty cents per share then you should be shorting 200 shares of this one lemonade was a beauty back uh, I don't even remember when I think right in here is where I caught lemonade last time and we squeezed that uh, one nicely to the downside anyways you know it's below the volume weighted average Average price from the IPO, the year-to-date volume weighted average price held his supply, you know, a place where supply was found on this big rally right here. The volume weighted average price from that low, you know, had been holding his support here for a little while. It gapped lower, found that that support became resistance, and that's where that last short occurred. Now, when we look at the 30-minute time frame on the right, you can see the volume weighted average price from this day. You know, notice that I didn't anchor it right from the low. I could anchor it from the low, but I like to include the full day uh, for that. So I'm anchoring from key levels. You know, the resistance was found at the volume weighted average price. Look at how well this has behaved. Uh, let's do this. Let's go in here and clean all that up. And let's put one just right off of here. Look how beautifully that is held as a place where supply is found also with the declining 50 day moving average. So it might be a few days early in lemonade. Maybe we're going to see what I'd really like to see again here is, you know, a bounce up towards 76, maybe short a little bit right here as it comes down and breaks it rallies up and then, you know, perhaps short here as it breaks down once again. Uh, again, I'm not making suggestions here for what to do. I'm looking at this more to show you what to look for in a stock to sell short. Again, it's never a stock that's n making a new all-time high. Newell here, you can see, we can put some volume weighted average price levels off of, of these key levels. Uh, and you know, here we see that this one has been a little bit uh, important recently. The volume weighted average price from this low right here is what we're looking at on this side. And you can see we broke below that on Friday. So I'm looking at this one as a higher confidence trade if it can kind of rally up, find resistance there, if that volume weighted average price that held a support flips to resistance and then breaks down, I want to get short that. And I think your absolute worst case stop is up here. Mine would most likely be somewhere along the, above this lower high, assuming that at first it doesn't take that out. So if it takes that out, well, then that would invalidate that stop level. Anyways, let's take a look at another one. Here's a stock in a, you know, it, it, it the bigger the, the, the top, the bigger the drop. A-O-L-L-I, -L 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 Ollie's Bargain Outlet. 
I'm not picking on any of these companies. I don't know anything about you know what 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 they retail or what they what bargains they have. But their stock doesn't look like a bargain to me. If we take a look at the longer term volume weighted average price down from this low in 15, look at where it hit perfectly. I, you can't make that stuff up. Perhaps we come down and retest that level. That's at about 65. So maybe there's about five dollars worth of downside. Let's look at what happened here. Something big happened on this day. Maybe it was earnings. It gapped lower on that, or from this volume weighted average price as well. Low. What we're looking at though is the average participant from this day when they thought it was a bargain and it rallied beautifully. The average participant is now losing money. We've got a flat to declining five day moving average. That's that orange one in there. Friday, it broke down a little bit. What I really like to see here is maybe it gaps up on Monday and then starts to roll over. I'd love to short it right there with a stop maybe at about $72.75. Whatever you do, again, be sure to honor your stops in these things because you know that, that trade in ozone uh, back in here Look at, you know, I'd shorted it at right about this price level, I believe. And it, had I not held it, you know, I would love to hold it for three weeks if it continues to go down. I don't have price targets, though, because if I start to look at my price target and say, well, it's not at my price target yet, I'm going to put my stop at break even. If I broke even on this trade, what a jackass I would have felt like to let it drop from 52 all the way down to 48 and then to to go to break even or worse take a loss instead it's breaking back down so the point is just be you know quick with these things uh overstock uh this one i i am short this one uh i got shorted on friday it's you know we, we look at the volume weighted average price from this low that becomes a good level of interest not a price target but a level of interest where it might drop down to that's at about 62 bucks so let's call it 63 uh we look at this and maybe it's got six points of downside. I don't know, but you know, I got short it right in here as it started breaking down. If I wasn't short, I'd be looking for the same thing. A little rally up and short on weakness as it rolls back down. I want a short weakness after strength. I don't want a short weakness as it hits a new low. That's where I want to cover some if it gets down to there. Because again, you've got to be quick with these, especially the fact that we're in a bull market. Hopefully that was a, a good little look at what to look for in a in short, you know, when 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 identifying short candidates uh, in a bull market.